Good evening. I'm Joe Netherworld, and I'm here with your daily tarot card reading for Sunday, December 29th, 2013. Can't say that anymore in a day or two. So it's been a fun year. I enjoy any year that ends in a 13, of course. I'm not, I'm not only superstitious, I, I'm supernatural. So I like my 13s. I like my Friday the 13th, my June 6th and at 6 p.m. You know, little things like that. It makes me happy, and uh, I think half the fun of being uh, a little supernatural and superstitious is that you make meaning where meaning might not be for other people. It's, it's important to you. And that is the true, we're self-created and that's the best level of self-creation, right? We make, we make our important things important to us. But with that, I'm going to shuffle the cards. I'm going to pick a main card for the day. See what today's all about. Sunday, you know, I'm up here in the Northeast. It's cold. It's winter now. It's been winter for a few days um, since the 21st. Um, and uh, it's not going to be on winter for a while. I've actually started a, um, a, a actual X marks the spot checkoff calendar just because I, you know, winter here is really 90 days, you know, of a misery. Because once we get into early March, it's, you know, where, you know, it's, it might not be nice out, but it's definitely not four degrees miserable. Um, that's important, you know, it's important to mark the passage of time and to expect. I think it's. I think living in an era with four seasons is great because you you learn that um, to expect and to plan ahead. So that's about what what these readings are all about, right? Learning, planning ahead, making um, you know some forecasts and things. So uh, with that, I'm going to pick this card and uh, I'll try not to let this deck speak to me and really warm it up and touch it and see what it says. And uh, here we go. Today's main card is the Eight of Cups. And this is sort of, I won't say it's a sad card, but it's about being things taken away. It's about things passing on. The cups are uh, like the, on, on a boat being sent out to sea. And, uh, but that also can be mean uh, and seen as that they're coming towards you. But what it does show me right off the bat is that they're not in your hands at the moment. Your back's turned on them, they're moving. There's the quarter moon over this, which is, you know, moon is always a sign of mystery. Quarter moon, the waxing moon, the beginning, heading towards the full moon, is that mysteries and um, uh, mysteries and magic are building, not passing. So we aren't there yet. We're heading into a cycle that we, there's going to be some mystery, some deception, some, some hidden things in this process. So, and you know, cups are basically the summation of our souls, our lives, and how, how they're filled and emptied becomes the day-to-day -day life of ours, our bounty, our lack of bounty. So. We're entering a mode here where uh, questioning ourselves is important and uh, answering those questions for ourselves is important. But also, and as the qualifiers will show us, hopefully, that we, instead of adding mystery, let some clarity to the situation, that we have to as you know, get ready for the next year and make some serious choices as to where things are going and what we want to let go, what, we, what, what cups we're willing to um, you know, get rid of and, and set out to see, and at the same time, what we want to fill them with and return to ourselves. So. Well, let's see. Let's see what we have here. You know, let's see. You jump up. Let's go, 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 go. And yes, you. Uh huh. Eight of rods. Now it's two eights. Eights, eights. All right. Eight of rods is about blockage, about things standing in your way. Usually it's about work or actual things in your way. Um, making things, things you do, your house, your home. It's tangible. It's not esoteric. It's not about money or uh, battles or hard edges, it's not swords, but it is, um, they form a fence. The Eight of Rods is, you know, kind of blockage in your way. Not impenetrable and not dangerous, but uh, blockage that require work to remove. So, you know, we have some things there. Let's see what else is uh, going on here. What's our other qualifier card? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we go. Uh-huh. Eight of Swords. Now, this is very interesting, right? Uh, Eight of Swords. We got an interesting situation right here. We have three eights. Days are that means like this is equal balance in in the value of each one. It's almost like having three main cards today. Uh, that's very interesting and powerful and uh, balanced. You know, the the odds of three eights coming up are pretty pretty slim. And when it does, that the, these the value of the three eights, the number that it creates uh, with that, it's showing that this has to be paid to, close attention to. It is swords is being surrounded by hard, sharp decisions and not wanting to make them uh, because every, every where you turn there's a sharp edge, a sharp sword, a sharp angle, 
um, something that you know you're bound, you can't move, you're blindfolded. It's very locked down. And that on the one end, on the other end, there's the eight of the eight of rods, showing that there are blockages, there are things in your way, but they're more practical and that they can be fixed, worked with, and and changed. And you know, eight of cups is um, showing you letting things go and move moving away from them. So what we really have here, and this whole day is taken on a very interesting. Uh, today's going to be a day of decision making, and you have two choices really today. It's either work hard and break through the blockage that the Eight of Rods represents, or stay stuck and with the Eight of Swords, um, unable to move for fear of hurting yourself. You know, there's too many hard decisions around you, too many things you don't want to address or break. So what? That really will change the outcome. That is the mystery and the hidden magic that the Eight of Cups is showing here. If you work through it, break through these things and be willing to address your blockages and understand you have limitations, you have blockages and such, if you're willing to address those, you will let your Eight of Cups will go out, be fulfilled, filled with what you need and return to you. Probably at the end in a month because the moon is there. The moon always indicates a 28 day cycle as well. And this moon being a quarter moon waxing would mean that you have about 20 days to fulfill this cycle. So we're getting, that would take you well into the new year to get this. But if you're not willing to make those moves and make those changes, you're going to be stuck uh, and you're going to be trapped. So this is not really a choice you have. Well, you do have a choice. You have a choice to stay stuck, trapped, and in pain, or a choice to work through these situations and make things happen and change them. So I'd recommend working through them and making them happen. but. If you're at that point in your life where you can't and you won't, that's fine in a sense, but don't expect anything good to come of it. You know, expect to be stuck. So no one's gonna no no knight in shining armor is coming to help you. No magician is coming to work magic for you. You have to do this, and the only way you're gonna do it is to address individual situations. They cannot be handled as one main problem. This is not a I'll just quit my job and go somewhere else. I'll just lose five pounds and everything will be fine. It's like, no, everything, there, there are eight problems, which means there's a, a plentitude of problems. There's really 24 problems it's showing here. It's a lot of problems. There's almost a problem for every day of a month here. There's almost, you know, give or take a day or two, you have 24 problems, 24 cups, you know, 24 items, and the moon has, uh, if you remove the four days for the quarter of the moon, you have 24 days of the moon. So I would recommend that this is dealt with, um, from this day forward, every day a little bit of this uh, should be taken into consideration. So I'd like you to see through to clearing these problems up and not accepting these problems. That's today. That's the lesson you have to learn for New Year. And uh, I hope you do. And I'll be here if you need me. You can call me direct. I'm here with a reading. Hopefully it'll clarify itself as we go. But until that time, I will be waiting in the dark. Around midnight, I'll put up a new video. But have a very magical day and a contemplative night. Thank you.